Home sales in Canada plunged 37.1 percent year-over-year in January, which is the lowest level for the month since 2009. Now, this is according to newly released numbers by the Canadian Real Estate Association. Home sales tumbled last year as rising mortgage rates increased the cost of borrowing and slowed the housing market. Korea says the actual national average home price fell 18.3 percent year over year to slightly more than $612,000. Well, joining us now to give us more insight into this and the Canadian housing market is Mr. Sean Cathcart, senior economist at Korea. Sir, welcome to Forum Daily. Thanks for the invite. Now, uh, this is the lowest number of sales uh, we've seen since January 2009, as we mentioned, uh, which was just around the financial crisis or Great Recession. So uh, should we be concerned by this? Do you see some sort of connection here? Not really. I mean, it's it's one of those uh, stats that sounds uh, worse than it is. Uh, It's the lowest since, uh, to your point, the financial crisis. Uh, But the January 2023 sales number doesn't look anything like January 2009. It looks a lot like January 2010 to 2019. Uh, It's just a little bit lower. So technically, it's a 14-year low. uh, But really, we're sort of trending around below a little bit below average right now. We're not in crisis mode. All right, sir. So uh, can this drop in sales be seen evenly countrywide, or are certain regions uh, seeing this drop in sales more than others? It's definitely regional, uh, but it's it's not about the region. It's about how expensive those markets are. Uh, so BC, Ontario are getting hit the hardest, as as always happens when there's a any kind of policy change that makes it harder to b- borrow money. Um, uh, you know, the prairies uh, and the Maritimes, uh, East Coast, I should say, because Newfoundland and Labrador is doing pretty well as well, uh, are, are currently above average. Uh, Quebec, uh, somewhere in, in between those two extremes. All right. And from a homeowner's perspective, how are the uh, current interest rates impacting the affordability of their mortgages, especially for those looking to renew their mortgages this year? So that's a big concern. Uh, obviously, it's it's really slammed people with variable rates in the, in the last sort of year. I don't think uh, uh, we'd ever heard the term trigger rate uh, or even thought that that was even possible when you're signing a mortgage covenant uh, up until this last year. Um, but it is possible. And, uh, you know, uh, for people that are, you know, with housing, it's it's all about timing, right? Uh, a big part of getting into the market is when you're born. <laughs> the earlier, the better, usually. And uh, with mortgage rates, the way that rates work in Canada versus, say, the U.S., uh, it's about when it's up for renewal. And uh, certainly, mortgages are, are renewed every day. And I think uh, there's a lot of people that are having to make some tough choices or, or you know, are, are sort of dreading that. Uh, so the, the the big picture there is, how fast can the Bank of Canada get tame inflation and get those rates back down to more sort of what they would call neutral levels and get out of inflation fighting mode? Because you're right, it's it's not a great time to be uh, renewing your mortgage. Yeah, we're all holding our breath for that. Now, uh, just about two minutes left here. I want to jump to a recent report by Oxford Economics. Now, it predicts that Canadian home prices could drop by 30 percent or more by the middle of 2023. Uh, is that in line with the predictions at CREA? It's not. And, uh, you know, um, based on what's been already going on, uh, it would basically have to turn and fall off a cliff starting yesterday uh, for that to come true. So it's a sort of a tail uh, prediction. Uh, it's, it's not very conservative, I wouldn't say. It's a, it certainly uh, gets attention, though. Um, uh, we're looking at things sort of stabilizing. Uh, I think there's already been a sort of a canary in the cold. I mean, in the prairies, uh, a lot of prairie markets have been stable this whole time, actually. Uh, and um, we're seeing now on the East Coast, uh, in the Maritimes, um, prices have already hit bottom and are, are trending back up. So uh, it might take a little bit longer for Toronto and Vancouver. But I think probably the worst of this is, is already in the in the rear view. And that's about 15% from peak to now nationally. And so uh, less than that uh, in most places, a little bit more in Ontario. But um you know, 30% for the whole country, uh, you'd have to have things worsen considerably starting right now. And I don't see that happening with the Bank of Canada basically done with the with tightening. All right, sir, just about uh, 30 seconds left here. But what are you keeping your eyes on on this uh, turb- turbulent housing market for 2023? Uh, what happens when spring listings come out? Because listings are at a 22-year low right now. You can't buy what's not for sale. Uh, so our buyer is going to jump on these. And uh, is the market going to recover the same way it did in 2019 after the stress test year? And also inflation. 
if that gets under control, then we could have a lot more friendly interest rates by next year. Um, but it's, it all it all comes down to inflation. All right, sir. Thank you again for your time today on Forum Daily. My pleasure.